Happy New Year! I'm Crash. Here's your rock history lesson for this day in January 1st, in 2004. Alex Lyson of Rush is arrested for aggravated battery, resisting an officer, and disorderly intoxication after an altercation with police at a New Year's Eve party at the Ritz-Carlton Hotel down in Naples. In 2001, actress Kate Hudson marries Black Crow singer Chris Robinson in Colorado. 1985, VH1 debuts on cable as an older skewing version of MTV. Of course, back then they all played videos. In 1984, Van Halen ring in the new year with the release of their 1984 album. Now, on January 2nd in rock history in 1980, Bob Seger records Against the Wind at Bayshore Studios down in Coconut Grove here in Florida. Glenn Fry the Eagles sings back up. In 1970, Eric Clapton begins a month-long session in LA recording such songs as After Midnight and Let It Rain for his first solo album. Important date back in 1969 for January 2nd, the Beatles start work at on a documentary at Twickingham Studios in London. After considering filming a concert for worldwide release, the band decided to do a movie about the making of the album. Eventually, it's completed as Let It Be. The movie exposes the riff and the group as John Lennon insists on having Yoko Ono constantly at his side over the evident unhappiness of his bandmates. Add Yoko. Well, that's your history lesson for January 1st and 2nd. Happy New Year. Class dismissed.